What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy BT and today we have this LED area light from Hyperlight. All right, so inside the box, this should hopefully be a very straightforward installation. Inside the box, we've got the instructions here. We've got this mounting piece right here. We've got in here, looks like uh, the sensor light piece or maybe just a straight light piece uh, but it looks like you just plop it in looks like you just press it down and turn it in we'll see exactly where these go in a second all right so here is the light itself this is, this is a pretty big unit here here is the light so again, the installation should, I'm hoping, be very straightforward. We've got some screws here that we got to take out. These screws are six millimeter. Let's go ahead and loosen these up here. So we got our wiring here. So this is going to sit down in here. But before we do that, we've got to run the wiring through this hole here. All right, so in order to get this through, it looks like we do have to unscrew this with a screwdriver to be able to get access to pull that wire out. All right, now you can see we can actually get this fed through here. Well, looks like we're gonna have to take this out too in order to get it through the back piece because this is coming out through there. This is a 10 millimeter. All right, so here now, we'll feed this in here. We'll go ahead, we'll bend that curve right here to get it through this section. and then we'll be ready to pass it through this side. So we'll take these two screws, insert them here. All right, now that we have this coming out through here, you can see we can easily insert that through this hole here. And we'll just route it to the bottom section and get it back situated in place here. Get the 10 millimeter put back in. Now you can see here for the angle, that's why this hole is here. So we can actually put this back on here and uh, we'll be able to adjust it from that hole there after we get it mounted. All right, so that's the brunt of the assembly there. Once we get this inserted onto the pole, get the power hooked up, we'll be able to lock this in place here. These are a six millimeter on here. And since this is the censored one, I believe this is where we would go ahead, plug this in here, twist it, and we are ready to rock and roll. So now all you gotta do is pick your mounting spot, put your wires in, and we're done. All right, so we got the old one down. It looks like there was some wasp living up there. So now we just gotta strip those wires. So all we need to do here is hook this up to ground, hook this up to neutral, and hook this up to the live wire, and then we should be good to go. All right, and there is the finished product. Let's go ahead and get this power back on and see what the lights look like. Since the sensor plug is in there, we're gonna put this one in there to force the light to turn on. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so here is the light. It is at full brightness right now. It's looking pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and also get some night shots for you so you can see what it looks like in the night. But we're gonna definitely have to install a dimmer switch onto there so we can control the brightness of the light. So we'll go ahead and get you a night shot right now.
apart so you can see the installation of the hyperlite was not very complicated just getting it assembled getting your wires hooked up in there and switching your power back on it's your boy bt thank you for checking out the video and i'll catch you guys on the next one